Thank you for coming to create with me today. I'm so excited to show you this new product by Stampin' Up. It's called Simply Press Clay. It comes in a 2.4 ounce package and there's a couple accessories that you can purchase along with it. There's silicone molds, one's a flower mold, and one's a button mold. You can find these easily on page 167 of the new catalog. So you might think that 2.4 ounces isn't very much, but actually, here's the package that I've been working off of. I've had it for about a month. I've made hundreds of flowers from it. I've demonstrated from it and I still have quite a bit. Let me show you what it looks like. So when you get it, it's perfectly white. It feels like marshmallow and it's so much fun to play with. Oh, you're going to be so excited. You're almost not going to be able to put it down. So it comes white, so we need to color it. So there's a couple ways we can do that. The first way I recommend is coloring the whole product. So um, decide about how much that you want and then you can add a couple drops of reinker to it. I recommend that you put gloves on or you put it in a Ziploc bag and just knead it until the color goes all the way through. I've got some here that I made earlier and I pressed it out. I added a couple drops of pumpkin pie reinker to this one and I've just let it sit out on my desk. So that's the first tip. I've heard people say that you can put this in the freezer and you can put you can put it in your mold, put it in the freezer for about 30 minutes and then it comes out very nicely. But what I found is um, after letting it sit for about 30 minutes on my desk, just flatten it out and let it dry, it gets a little bit of a snap to it. And if you do this and then you put it in the mold, just take a little bit, put it in your mold. If you turn it over, press it flat so that it has a nice flat bottom so when you adhere to your project, you can just pop this out and that way I can just make flower after flower after flower. I can just keep going. I don't need to wait 30 minutes between every single flower. I love that so I can keep working. Now, what I did find is if you take it directly out of the package, here's the white that I just pulled out of the package. Let me get just a little bit and show you the difference. If you put this in the mold, flatten it out, it kind of sticks. It's not releasing. So you'll see the difference. So just be patient and let it sit for just a little bit. You can get it out, but it distorts the flower. So let's say that you can't wait 30 minutes and you're so excited to use it. There's a couple things that you can do. One, you can use your embossing buddy and just tap it in your mold and it'll act like a release. So let's try it now with the white. We're going to put it in the button mold. Now the very first time I did this, I didn't realize that you actually have to um, get it down inside there so that the little holes are showing. It looked a little odd when I got done, so we're going to work this just a little bit just takes a minute to play around with it. If you don't get it perfectly out, you can use your pokey tool later to, to um, get those holes emptied out. Now I should be able to get this out pretty easily. See it's releasing from the side. I have to be careful because this one's a little thinner. But it's coming out pretty good. I might have to fix a little bit when I get done. So it's distorted a little bit. But there's our button. So here's some that I've made earlier. Looks just like this. Another thing that works great as a release is dazzling diamonds. So you can go ahead and just sprinkle some dazzling diamonds right inside of your mold. Get it all over. Tap it out. And then take some of your clay roll it into a ball and press it into your mold. Again, making sure that you've got your button little button holes. So we'll pretend that I've worked those out, but it releases very nicely. And there's your button. Now those don't have holes, but I could go back later and poke those out. Let me show you one here. I've um, put it with the dazzling diamonds and then afterwards I took a little crystal effects and spread it on it. Here's one of the other buttons. They're so sparkly and so much fun. You can also do it with the flowers. Here's a couple that I colored with strawberry slush re-inker 
and use the dazzling diamonds those are going to be so gorgeous on my cards so let me show you a couple other ways to color here I've used the strawberry slush but before I was finished I added just a little bit of eggplant and made a marble look I didn't need it all the way through and then you got a nice marbly look and here I've added a little crystal effect so this actually looks like a plastic button but what's so nice is they're so lightweight they'll be great on my projects there's a couple other ways that these can be colored let me show you here I've done a couple of the white ones and I've done it with the glitter I'm going to take a stamp pad and I'm just going to squeeze it like I would if I was watercoloring. I want to get a little bit of color on the lid and I'm going to take my aqua painter and pick up the color and I can just paint that right on the dry um, simply pressed clay flower and it's not going to hurt it. It's not going to make it moist. It's already dry. It's nice and light and I can just finish it up just like that gorgeous or another way is I can just take my markers and color directly on it here I'm going to take a light a uh, very very light pink marker this is the pink pirouette and I'm going to kind of sloppily get inside the uh, crevices on this I'm not going to worry if I'm perfect on this I'm going to do a two-tone flower and then I'm going to take a darker uh, melon mambo marker and just using the side I'm just going to touch the highlights and here I've got a nice two-tone flower which I'm going to be using on a um, card using the new washi tape so I'm so excited about that so that's a couple other ways that you can color it here I did one with the aqua painter and some pumpkin pie and here I colored it with so saffron with my reinker and then I added just highlights with a light um, primrose petal and some so saffron in the center. There's so many things you can do with it. It's so exciting. Let me show you how to um, actually stamp in the product. Here's my pumpkin pie. And I'm going to use uh, one of the uh, moths or butterflies from the Papillion stamp set. And I'm going to stamp with stays on ink. You can stamp with any kind of ink, but I, I want a nice black for this one. I'm kind of going to get the monarchy look, although I know this is not a monarch butterfly. But you can stamp directly in this clay. There's my stamped image. But you're going to say, okay, well, how do I get this out of there? What do I do? So you could use an X-Acto knife. Um, I've tried that. It is okay. Um, sometimes it kind of moves the clay around. What I found really works great is just a pair of paper snips. This is so wonderful. You don't even have to wait for this to dry. You can just go ahead and cut around your butterfly just like this. It's really nice. You can go back and clean it up. So I'm not going to show you all of that, but I want to show you um, something I did with a finished product. Here I put it on a card. Remember, it's nice and light. I've just made this um, butterfly. I stamped it. It's three-dimensional. I've added a little bit of glitz to it, and I've adhered, adhered it to my card with a little bit of sticky strip. I've also made a project here with my um, stamp club this last week and we did these little painted stamped canvases and we added a little butterfly um, we had painted it with a little bit of crystal effects so this is a little home decor project I've also stamped directly in the clay I've stamped the center of the flower I've added a little rhinestone and then I've um, finished it off with crystal effects it's so lightweight it's gonna be beautiful on a necklace it just looks like a little stone I hope I've given you some new ideas to use this simply pressed clay. Enjoy it and please come visit me at createwithme.com. Thank you.